Hi, I'm Kevin Harwood, and this is Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from John, and he asks, what will extensions allow in iOS 8? That's a great question, John. Extensions are a big deal for iOS 8 and Yosemite, and will change how people interact with iOS for the better. Developers have been asking for this type of functionality for a long time, and with iOS 8, Apple has delivered an extensible, secure framework that will allow apps to extend functionality across all other apps on the platform, opening up brand new ways for developers to delight their users. There are several different types of extensions in iOS 8. First off, today extensions will allow developers to provide custom functionality in the Notification Center, making it easier for users to interact with information they care about most. Today extensions will make it easy to respond in your favorite chat app and keep up to date with the latest sports scores of the teams you follow most. Sharing extensions will allow developers to enable sharing content to their service from across all other applications. In the past, this has been limited to a handful of services like Twitter and Facebook. But now, any developer can create a sharing extension to share content. I'm sure you'll be seeing companies like Pinterest deliver a sharing extension that will allow you to pin items straight from mobile Safari. And Instagram will probably provide a way to share photos from the Photos app and other apps across the platform. Custom action extensions perhaps provide the most flexibility, and I am especially excited about the possibilities they open up for enhancing mobile Safari. Imagine extensions that let you translate a page on the fly, hook into a password manager to pre-fill your username and password, or easily save content to your read later service. These extensions will drastically improve the mobile browser experience and do it in an integrated, seamless way. iOS also now finally supports custom keyboards. There are several keyboards out there for other mobile platforms that improve typing efficiency, and Apple has now provided a way to install those in iOS 8. Photo editing extensions may prove to be very important for Apple's photo management software. As Apple announced at WWDC that they would be combining iPhoto and Aperture into one app, Photos. This app will provide less advanced functionality out of the box compared to what Aperture can do today, but the photo editing extension point will allow developers to provide advanced photo editing interfaces for specific photos while letting Apple software do the actual photo management. As you can see, extensions are a big deal and open up a ton of new use cases for user experiences on both iOS and Mac. Now is a great time to jump in and build something new and awesome. That's it for today's episode. Be sure to tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.